Hello everybody and welcome. In this highly technical video, I will show you guys how to connect Snowflake Data Warehouse with the R software. So Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse where you can have your database or data set or any table. It is easy to connect that table and bring into the R environment and work on it. To do so, we have to go through a couple of steps which I'm gonna explain uh, one after another. First thing is you have to download and install the R ODBC software. Sorry, Snowflake ODBC software, which is if you want to, if you write down into the Google in Google, download Snowflake ODBC driver, you will see this. And following this Snow ODBC driver Snowflake documentation, you will get your uh, Snowflake ODBC. And then once after you install that one into the search bar, if you write down there, ODBC, you will see that ODBC data source 64 bit will open for you. And if you go there, ODBC data source administrator will open for you. So I have a, um, since you have already installed that one, you if you want to add that one into your environment, the ODBC environment, you have to click Snowflake uh, uh, driver. And then if you want to go to this, finish you have to put couple of in bar i mean some information in this dialog box so minimum requirement says you have to give a name of the data source say i k i name is uh, uh, snow as an ow name is snow one or snow and then next thing is you need the name of the server so at this moment server mean the warehouse information where you put uh, i mean where you have the browser information in here where you uh, open your snowflake account so in this case it should be uh, from ca till cum.com so i need to bring this information into my the dialog box so control c i copy that one and then put it into this dialog box so control b so it is in there now if you press ok you will see snow the odbc information is snow and then okay so so snowflake odbc part is done now we have to understand the snowflake part those who don't know snowflake but if you already know then you can see that the name of the database is demo db and the inside the demo db there is a schema called public schema in this public schema i have a table called uk table and if you hover over into the uk table you will see that uh, required information regarding to that table so as you can see it is 4015th row over there and then owner was the sysadmin when it was created and name of the table so if you click into this triple zero in there and preview data you will see the data over there in here into this part of the uh, scale on the other hand into the right hand side of this uh, window i am uh, logging as a sysadmin and the name of the user is golem and he's a sysadmin so that warehouse we're gonna use in this case is compute underscore wh which is a um, small size anyway the database name is demo db and the schema is public schema so those who already know the snowflake uh, already they this is very familiar to them but those, those who don't know it's pretty straightforward if you want if you open an account into snowflake you just uh, some basic knowledge or you will be able to know this information and you will be able to uh, put the data set into your uh, snowflake table so up to this part it was the snowflake table but now we want to bring this uk bank table into our our environment or our software so how to do that to do so say i open r so this is our say our um, scripting file we need couple of so let's uh, remove the previous information from here we need couple of libraries say dvi dplyr dbplyr odbc rodbc open excel you don't need all of them but i bring them in here because i need uh, to it for another application so let's uh, run all of them say uh, let's run all the libraries once after you run all the libraries E, all the libraries available in this environment for you to work with and to get the information of your working directory you can write down that get working directory 
you can also change working directory if it is not in the your head I mean required path you can uh, put any working directory in here say so that in future if you want to write down some files into that working directory you can do that now our part is to make a connection first and then based on that connection bring the data into our global environment or data on data environment you have to write down a couple of information which you can see into the screen exactly as it is. The reason I will explain very soon. Say so I name a variable called mycon. Inside the mycon, I have to write down set dbi exactly this double symbol and the db connect odbc exactly this symbol and the odbc and then remember the name of our odbc was snow. So you have to write down that odbc name user id password uh, this is my temporary um, snowflake account so as you can see into the here user id is golem and then password was over there i have to put keep this password and then name of the warehouse you have to put name of the warehouse name of the database and name of the schema you have to write down one uh, all of them one after another exactly as it is written in here so let's bring it bigger my cursor is in front of my icon and once if I hit control enter there is a connection in there as you can see into the connection environment into the connection so demo db database is connected uh, was into the snowflake and is connected with this R environment so into the demo db there is a public schema and inside the public schema there is a table called UK bank I need to bring that bank into I mean that data table into my working environment so that I can work on that in future. Now to do so, you define a variable. I, I name it as a UK customer. You can name any name. Then DBI, DB query, this connection, my icon in here. And then I want to bring everything, say select star from UK bank. So once if I run this line, say run this line, you will see this table is into your global environment, which is fantastic. If you click in there, you will see how many variables was in there. And if you double click over there, the data will be in your global environment. As you can see from this screen, there was 4015 observation, including and oh, the nine variables. So if you go to the snowflake part, you can see if you hover over in this year, you can see that there are 4015 rows and then from this part in down there you will see there are nine variables so this is how you can bring your table a snowflake table into our environment now this is called uk customer so if you say you want to see head of uk customer so head of this variable say uk underscore customer customer so if you hit control enter you will see head of the data in here down there into the console screen this is just an example how to bring your data or table from snowflake to our environment so this is the short discussion today for us to discuss to show how to bring how to easily you can bring your snowflake database or table into our environment and do all kinds of operation you want to do and then until now until then this is the discussion today and those who didn't subscribe this channel please do so i will come back more and more this kind of video very soon until then uh, enjoy this video and thanks for watching goodbye